To use the webinar pop-up, make sure you're in the forms area and in the promotions tab. Then click create promotion. Give your promotion a name and click save and continue. Now just choose the webinar pop-up template by clicking select. And here we go. This is the pop-up editor. You can change the form type by using these buttons here. You're going to have the pop-up in the bottom right corner or in the left bottom corner by clicking additional settings and changing the position here. You can also change the shape of the image. This is a bit funky. It's meant to stick out from all the other images and things on your website. So you can change the shapes here. And you can, of course, instead of having a pop-up, you can have a bottom bar or top bar by using this button here. Of course, here we can change the position, top, bottom. Also, the alignment of the image, we can have it on the right side. And the shape is here, of course. Let's go to the standard one and look at the design settings here. Here you can, of course, change the background color, the close button, and the close hover color, the header, the title, and all the elements you see here are basically changeable with a click of a button. So let's click this image. You can change the image here and use one of your own images. And you can change every single one of these elements by clicking on it, except the button. You can't click on it. You need to use this little edit button here. And here are all the set settings for that. Here, all you basically need to do is put the URL of the registration page of your webinar. And you can change the name of the button here. Of course, you can add a secondary button if needed. If you want or need the secondary button. And you can change all these elements or delete them. Some of these elements, if you don't want the specific text, all you need to do is delete the text and you're ready to go. Let's put that text back. And another good thing is you can also add links to the text here if you need to have a privacy policy or whatnot. All right, let's put this back. And that's pretty much it. You can preview your webinar pop up here. And you can also use this to go back and change anything, undo anything you didn't want to do. So I'm going to change it back to how it looked. And once you're done, just click Save. And the next button here. Here you can have the pop-up show after a specific time uh, when the person scroll, scrolls to a percentage of the page or show the pop-up before someone closes the page or when someone tries to change the tab in their browser. You can change the frequency. In the case of a webinar, I would do it once a day. So if a person visits your page, they will see the pop-up once and they're not going to see it again until they visit the page again. If you're doing a webinar and really want to promote it, I would suggest uh, leaving this always to show and using a bar at the bottom or the top so it doesn't disturb the people who are reading your website or your blog. Here, uh, when you're doing a webinar, it's also good to set a specific time. So if you're doing it one month earlier or you're promoting your webinar one week or two weeks earlier, it's good to set this so that the webinar closes at the time of your webinar or when your webinar is finished. This will help because you're not going to have a pop up promoting a webinar that is already finished. You can also show it everywhere on a specific page or hide it on a specific page. Hide it on uh, desktops, mobile devices, and tablets if you wish. And once you're done, just click Save and Continue. This is the code you use on your website. If you're using WordPress, you can use the plugin we have. If you're using Shopify, we have an app for that too. This is pretty simple. You only need to add this to your website once. Once you're done, click Next. And here is an overview. You can activate your pop-up here. You can edit the design here, change the, the, the behavior of your pop-up right over here. This is the code I just talked about. And if you want to show the code after someone clicks a specific link or an image or or anything on your website or in your article, just follow the instructions here and you should be good. That's all for the webinar pop-up. I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.